Well, I'm our facts of Mars. And I got a lot to go over this morning. This is the least of the three stories. All the two are very serious. Zaya Dom is not apologizing for wearing what she calls beautiful Chinese Chen Sang dress to her high school prom despite receiving backlash from thousands of people otherwise known as online bullies online. Some of whom were calling her a closet racist and accused her of cultural appropriation. Shove it where the moon don't shine. I mean, really, shove it where the moon don't shine if you don't like it. Dom, who's 18, posted an album of four pictures on Twitter on April 22 with simple caption, Prom. One of the photos in the album includes Dom crouching down in the traditional Chinese dress, dress posting with a group of her friends with her hands folded together, a gesture many deemed inappropriate. It's because they're a bunch of bullies. They are busybodies who don't have jobs and hate freedom. They hate individual responsibility and they hate American traditions. It didn't take long for the internet, internet to respond as of Monday evening Dom's post has been retweeted nearly 4,400 times and now she's feeling hundreds of angry comments from uh, I'm going to add this from internet bullies. Gamo dude, what's the theme of your life? Ignorant? This isn't okay. I wouldn't wear a traditional Korean, Japanese, or any other traditional dress in my mason. I wouldn't wear a traditional Irish or Swedish or Greek dress either. There's a lot of history behind these clothes. Sad, added another. Well, if you don't want to wear them, that's your, fr that's your business. But don't bully others online. That's what you are. Who, whoever another is, you're an online bully. Oh God, this pose is just cherry on top of the casually racist post. It's not just a dress. It's something that means something historically and traditionally to the Chinese and to another. Another simply called her a closet racist. A teenager reportedly attends Woods High Cross High School in Utah defended her decision to wear the red orange embroidered gown. Good. I tweeted my support to her, by the way, said she would wear it again to show her respect for the Chinese culture. To everyone causing so much negativity, I meant no disrespect to the Chinese culture, simply showing my appreciation to their culture and not deleting my post because I've done Nothing but show my love for this culture. It's a effing dress. And it's beautiful. She treated on Saturday. She then add to everyone who thinks I'm ignorant. I fully understand everyone's concerns and view on my dress. I do too. They're, they're internet bullies. I mean no harm. I'm no way discriminative or racist. I'm tired of the backlash and hate. When my only intent was to show my love. See, these people have no love. They're psycho. They're psychotics. They're internet bullies and they're psychotics. But some followers didn't think Dom had the right to determine whether the gesture or dress was racist or not. If you're not Chinese, don't decide whether it's racist or not. One psychotic replied. If you're not Chinese, then you have no right to speak about, up about this, another psychotic echoed. Some called on the team to simply apologize and move on. No, don't apologize. I'm Chinese and I think it's fine if you wore a quipo because it's pretty. This one doesn't even know how to sp spell English. English words. 
but you need to apologize for polls. It doesn't matter that you didn't mean any harm or it wasn't your idea. Get bent! Another bully agreed. You did it because cause you were ignorant and that's offensive. Apologize for unintentionally mocking and moving. Move on, one Twitter, Twitter uh, bully psychotic said. I'm getting tired of this. I'm thinking about doing a uh, special on this type of thing. There's no such thing as cultural appropriation. You, people can go to hell. That's what I'm answering. I mean, if a black folk were, uh, if I saw black folk celebrating St. Patrick's Day, for instance, with, a, you know, funny green hats and shamrocks and all, I'd be okay with that. So I'm dancing, I might join them. This is insane. Like I said, these are psychotics that have been, who belong in the mental hospitals, that's the way it is. As far as I'm concerned, they should be locked up. I'm getting sick of this. Why are these psychotics who are doing this type of thing out on the street? They are human flotsam. To put it the way Rush Limbaugh used to put it, they are endlessly wandering shreds of human debris. Oh well. That's the least of the stories next to after this. Are real bad. Thanks for watching. I'm Artifacts of Mars.